All right, so quick caveat before the video gets started. I apologize, I have no idea how to do anything YouTube editing related. So if there's a lot of ums and uhs, I apologize. I'm not sure how to cut those out yet. Hey everyone, my name is Chantal. This is now my second video. I am currently about two and a half weeks into the Treehouse Tech Degree front end web, de web development program. Um, I'm about to start my second project, but I still have about 30 minutes or so left of instruction before I go ahead and get that going. Um, it is a responsive website, so I believe that it's going to start out as a mobile website and then it'll scale to tablet and then desktop and then back down and basically it's viewable and um, easy to see on any kind of device. So I'll be starting that soon. So since I do not have a review of that second project yet, I just wanted to go over a few pros and cons of the tech degree program that I have found. I'll start with the pros. Um, first one, the Slack channel is absolutely amazing. There's so many helpful people. Everybody is so nice. Um, people talk about anything in there. They're talking about their day. They're talking about their projects and everything. It's just a really nice community to be a part of. Um, if you have a question, um, people are always willing to help and if they don't know the answer they'll ask someone else that they think might know or they'll suggest going to a certain website or something like that so uh, the Slack ch channel is definitely really helpful for this whole thing. My second pro for the program just over two weeks in is that it's very easy to follow so especially if you have two screens you can have one side have the videos and you have the other screen have like your text editor on there um, so that you can go ahead and type and do what they're saying to do so that you can really commit it to memory. I'm, I'm guessing you could probably get through the courses a lot faster if you don't work along with them, but I don't think that I would be able to retain everything to memory like I have been uh, thus far. So now for the cons. My first con that I have is the time zones. Although in the Slack channel I see that there are people from all over the world um, where I am, it's definitely hard to get a hold of um, moderators because a lot of the times I'll log in 1, 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon um, for the first time in the day or maybe even later, like in the evening, and there's no moderators on. I'm guessing that they're all on Portland time or East Coast time, but they're definitely not around when I am, maybe about 50% of the time. So that is definitely a negative for me. Not that it could be changed, but it would be nice to have moderators um, all over the world, I guess, that could help with programs or point us in the right direction. My second con for the program right now is the, um, the quiz questions. So at, end of, at the end of different modules, you'll have maybe, I don't know, five to ten questions um, over the videos that you just watched or the video that you just watched or the course. Um, and it's just a little bit confusing because say you get something wrong, it tells you you got it wrong and then it only gives you the option to go view the video again. It doesn't give you another chance to try the question again. Um, it just marks it as wrong and you move on. There's no way of changing it. There's only, And there's no way of seeing what the right answer was. So that, in that sense, it doesn't help you learn with the quiz questions, I did find one quiz out of like the probably 10, 20, 30 quizzes that I've taken that actually had, I got the wrong answer and it actually told me the right answer. And I think that happened for two questions and I was really surprised, I thought it was an update, but then it that went away and then it didn't tell me any answers. So that is a little bit annoying because I, I want to know what the answer was so that I can learn from it or at least uh, give the option of knowing what the correct answer is rather than just, okay, go view the video again. Maybe the video is 10 minutes, doesn't tell you where the answer is found. Um, so that's that's kind of annoying and maybe that'll get changed in the future. Um, and then the third pro, or sorry, the third con that I have is that although in the beginning of the course, the like front end web development course, they go over text editors and they give you examples of which ones you can download. I downloaded Atom. Um, it's not really conducive to using your own text editor while going through the courses because so often does it say, this is using a new workspace, launch this workspace. And yeah, you, I tried copy and pasting for a while, but then 
it's just like all there then there's pictures in there and everything and you just don't want to transfer all that over so that is a little bit annoying like that it goes over it and says you can download whatever but then it's really not this is really not worth it so I would just suggest sticking to the workspace that Treehouse does. Mm, I think that's it for my pros and cons. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And again, this is only just over maybe two and a half weeks into the tech degree program. So maybe these things will change. Maybe they'll not really matter much in a couple weeks. Who knows? But if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.